How's my quad squad doing? It's the man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here, and today I'm bringing you guys a video talking about the only thing going through my mind right now, which is of course Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which I don't really have a specific reason to make this video, but I kind of wanted to inform you guys on Ground War and Advanced Warfare, just simply because I kind of felt like I really needed to. It was kind of like I felt obligated towards telling you about Ground War, because I do believe that I said in previous videos saying that Ground War isn't going to be Advanced Warfare at all, but in fact, Ground War is going to be on the next-gen consoles, but not the Xbox 360 and the PS3. That's a little bit disappointing but it will be on the PC, PS4, and the Xbox One. I know nothing about the Wii U, but I know this is true. The Ground War will be on the Xbox One, PS4, and PC, which is really exciting. I think it's a great idea, and I think the Ground War is always going to be a classic. It's been around since Call of Duty 4. Ground War is great for getting clips. It's great for getting really, really high-scoring gameplays. It's great for causing havoc, and it's great for having a lot of fun. And then also another little update on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare that you'll be able to actually edit your custom emblem. Another big thing, and another big thing that I'm able to make I just repeated myself twice, but uh, repeating myself twice, is that even, would that be repeating myself four times? I, I don't know, but <laughs> either way, I think that they created the app on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, or at least a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare app, which is really cool that you're going to be able to edit your custom emblem on, and we all know custom emblems originally came out back in Black Ops 1, and they were a huge hit, whether they'd be extremely inappropriate or extremely funny, extremely cool. Some people made actual art, like literally art. There were some really cool custom emblems you could, you could make. There were some really cool videos that you could watch online to teach you how to make different emblems which I thought was really cool I had some cool emblems and stuff like that way back when and I had some really good YouTube friends who would make different videos and tutorials on how to make the best emblems in Black Ops 1 and that was a really cool thing so I hope there's going to be a lot of videos on like uh, like that in Advanced Warfare I know I'll probably make a few showing you guys the coolest emblems I like to have some showcases on that I think I'm going to be doing that this year but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and just kind of updating you on what's going on in Advanced Warfare lots of news coming out make sure to follow me on Twitter make sure to follow uh, just a, a bunch of Call of Duty stuff on Twitter because if you're actually looking to stay extremely updated on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, if this is one of the bigger things going on for you right now, make sure to follow me on Twitter at QuadMFT and link down in the description. I tweet a lot of Advanced Warfare news, and there's a lot of other things like Charlie Intel that you, go, you can go ahead and follow on Twitter if you want to link. I'll, I'll link that down in the description below too. That's where a lot of the Advanced Warfare news comes from. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to drop a like. That really does help me out. You'd be surprised. It only takes 0.2 seconds out of your day. Don't forget to subscribe. Join the Quad Squad. Be prepared for Advanced Warfare. It's only a few days left till it comes out. It's been quantum smc mft whatever it is <laughs> and i'm out of 5000 take a trip to my